Hi there, it's Simone. I am a fountain pen and journaling and ink YouTuber. And today I thought I would show you how my standard size traveler's notebooks are used and how they have aged through the time that I they have been in my possession. So I'm going to start with the way they came into my house and then I will walk you through what what I am currently using them for and how I'm going to switch around one of them. All right. So, I currently own 5 Traveler's Notebook covers. Four of them are from Traveler's Company and one is from a sojourner. This one was my very first one. I got this in 2016, in 2015 at the end of the year for Christmas and I have been using it on and off ever since. I put these glass um, beads on here fairly early and I really love how this looks so I put them on and never really took them back off. I have been using this journal for journal cover for many different things in the years. I used it for my planning, I used it for my journaling, but right now it houses my ink swatch book. I started swatching inks in a Tomoe River um, notebook in personal size. But I decided once I filled this one up completely that I would go and switch to a standard size. Standard is currently my most favorite size of notebook to work in. And so that felt very natural. And so here is how I'm using this notebook. This is again a Tomoe River paper in 52 GSM. And I am really excited to use this. This I use occasionally. It's not a thing that I reach for every every day, but I love having these two notebooks in this journal cover. This is the nat the regular brown traveler's notebook. It still has the branding, the Midori branding here in the back. And it is very, very smooth. It has some amazing scratches. If you look at it in the correct light, you can see that there is some kind of shimmer on here, which I don't really know where that came from, but um, I love that it is so used. I am really in love with um, when these notebooks become like this. I don't put them in any covers or protectors, whatever, live my life, my very messy life throws at them is what they, what they get. Then I have this one. This one I just purchased in August of 2022. And I sold another traveler's notebook from Foxy Fix that I owned previously in order to be able to purchase this. Um, it is the traveler's hotel edition which was a limited edition and when they came out in April or May of 2022 I did not get any of those notebooks um, because I was still quite happy with this one and I am still quite happy uh, however I really loved loved the design and so I decided um, if I would be able to sell the the other notebook that I had, notebook cover, then I would get this. And I was able to do that, and so I bought it at the San Francisco Pen Show. Uh, the leather, the brown, is very different. This is more dark. I hope you can actually see this. Let me put those even further away. This is has a more reddish sheen to it. This is also not as shiny as this one, not as smooth yet. It also has lots of different scratches on here, especially because I have this pen loop attached to the back. So there is 
there's a lot of um, use from this pen loop. I, um, unfortunately, there are some bigger scratches right on the rose gold, um, what is that, stamping? And I hope it it will survive a little longer, but I guess that is what what's happening when you're using those. I do love it still. I hope it gets a bit more softer with use with hand oils and such. But I'm I'm really I'm really in love with the color of this notebook, especially. Then I've been wanting a traveler standard size notebook in this leather with a trifold um, for about two years or so. And I randomly searched Mercari and I found this exactly. That was at the end of November or beginning beginning of December of, 2000, of 2022. And so I reached out to the seller and asked if she would include the shipping in her price. And she said yes. And so I purchased it. Oh, 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 sorry. This one currently houses my um, weekly journal and one of those um, B-sides and rarities inserts. It. I am not a stuffer of notebooks, so this is basically the thickest that I enjoy using my notebooks. And I have my weekly journal in here and some ephemera that I am using in the journal in this in these pockets right here this is the traveler's company brass pen i purchased that one in december of 2022 and it has gotten a really nice patina and i have filled this with uh, platinum carbon black ink it has a fine nib it's the only nib size that it comes with and i have to say that I really enjoy this pen. I love how it looks. I love how it writes. It has a very bouncy nib. And I use this mainly to journal in my journal here. So all of the black writing is written with this pen. Um, now let's move on back to the Sojourner. I never know if I put the elastic around the pen or underneath. I usually put it underneath because I just feel like that's, I like the look more. Um, let me know in the comments how you do this. So I got this for a really good price. Um, it has four elastics on here, which I, I just told you that I'm not a stuffer of notebooks. This is, this is basically too big for me already um it has these amazing pockets and if i wanted to stuff this even fuller i could um I i'm thinking of maybe well i don't know i'm currently using a hobonichi weeks for my 2023 planner but if i felt at some point that i needed a bigger planner with the same layout i would probably move into a standard size traveler's notebook and this would be a perfect cover for this. This is the Dallas leather. It's super soft and very pliable, very different from these Traveler's Company leathers as well. Um, and it has the natural scoop pocket, I think. And it's just perfect. So I will not probably get rid of this cover ever because it's just the one that I would have bought from Sojourner. There is some um, light discoloration right here, probably from where it was sitting on a shelf. But as I said before, I'm really happy with covers that show that they're being used. And that's just part of usage. Since I got this, I added already some, some owner marks. And I use this as my um, pen pal documentation. This is a monthly planner that I pencil into this notebook and or monthly overview. And I just 
um, write down outgoing mail and incoming mail. And then this one is the journal where I write down what exactly I send to people that I exchange happy mail with. And then here is an address book where I keep all of the addresses that I, of the people that I'm exchanging mail with. I like that it fits in the back of this. And this is some paper that I wanted to keep in the front here for lists when I'm thinking of in which order I'm going to send out happy mail. I am partial, like not really, I don't really care which way this folds. You could put this and fold it this way and you can fold it this way. I currently have it folded like this and I'm always confused on how to put on this so that it works. I received these as a present and I really love those. So I put them all on here and I thought I was going to take them off after the winter. The winter isn't over just yet. I'm filming this in the beginning of March. I'm not sure when you're seeing this. I know that I'm going to move soon and so I'm trying to film some videos when I have ideas. Um, but I really like those so I maybe might not take them off at all. Once I'm once I'm over them, I'm just going to take them off. I just tied um regular bow ties here, so it doesn't it doesn't really take much effort to take them off. I've recently noticed that I don't like those big clunky charms anymore. So I'm I'm trying to see what I'm going to do with those. This is basically all that I can muster and and it's almost too big. Um, but yeah, so maybe if I get one more of those, I might put it over here or if I find a fountain pen or some sort of flatter embellishment, I would probably exchange it for this one. I don't currently have one, so that's, that's the best that I can do. All right. So this is Sojourner Dallas Trifold Traveler's Notebook. And then the next that came into my house is this Kyoto edition. I got this second hand um, also in December. I it's it's blue. It's the blue leather. I hope you can see that. It's still very unused compared to these two. Um, but it does have some scratches on the front, I, I assume, from taking the elastic on and off. And as you can see with these um, O-rings, you get dents into the leather right here. But again, I don't... I love when things look like they are being used. This has the Traveler's Notebook stamp. And this one also has the Traveler's Notebook stamp right here in the back. And Sojourners are usually stamped on the bottom right corner here with this Rowena R and a dot. Um, I keep my long form writing journal in here and it is a bigger notebook than the regular traveler's notebook inserts which, which are usually this thick. Uh, I also keep one of the, my friend um, Amy made this for me. It's a sticker insert that was handmade. Um, I keep this in the front because sometimes I put date stickers in here and so I can take them out and put them on the correct page. This is a Taroko notebook. It has, doesn't say, lots of pages as you can see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six signatures. And I really enjoy the paper and the size of the notebook. So I am really thinking of cutting down A5 notebooks to this size because it just brings me so much joy to use this to write. Um, I don't decorate this very much. The only decoration that I put in here is the date sticker. Some of them are my own designs like these. Some of them are washi tapes with dates. I am currently using, in March, using these um, meatball 
stickers. I cut them and put them on a paper clip and then I can take them off and put them in my notebook. I have been using one signature each month. So having a six signatures in here and if I'm keeping up with this, if I don't, then it's fine. It might last me for six months, which is okay. I don't have a hurry to get through it. And if I get through it faster, that's fine. I do have several notebooks in my stash that I can use as this. I love the rounded corners though. So I'm, I'm not sure how I would achieve that if I cut down a notebook. I need to think about that some more, but that's my blue Kyoto edition. I'm really happy that I added it to my stash. Uh, I don't, again, see myself getting rid of this. I'm currently having a use for all of those notebook covers. That is very important for me with my collections. I have realized just recently, that's why I'm saying this or repeating this so often, is I don't personally enjoy the act of collecting something just for collecting purposes. That is not who I am. I understand when other people do that and I love seeing other people's collections. But um, since I have learned this about myself, I have been able to not purchase more and also enjoy what I currently have. And so I might keep those around because I really love each one of them. But if I don't have another use case for another traveler's notebook, I will not be getting any more. So this is the newest edition that I purchased in a spur of the moment decision. I knew that I had one more journal that could use a cover. I kept it previously in this one and it still would fit in here. But I feel like if I'm able to keep up with this, <laughs> then this might get thick as well. And so it deserves its own cover. I really love the 60s style. Uh, that's why I went for it. I'm not necessarily someone who loves diners. I have, I can't really recall having an actual diner experience yet. Maybe I'm, I just don't remember, but I, I don't think that I like have a memory. I like the idea of diners. I like the idea. I like the um, architecture design, interior design aspect of 60 style diners. So that's the reason why I got this. And I love it. It is very, very different from, let me pull out the Traveler's Company notebooks right here. It is very, very different in feel and texture than all of those. Um, if I would have to sort them by um, uh, fuzziness and glossiness and softness, then that would be the smoothest, glossiest one. This one is still uh, smooth, but it is not as glossy. This one already starts to feel like it has some kind of velour, velour texture. Is that what you use the word for? Like fuzzy leather. And then this one almost feels like a carpet of sorts. It is super smooth. It's very nice to the hand, but it definitely isn't shiny or slick like the brown traveler's notebook. I don't have, I only have this one to compare as a brown newer traveler's notebook. So I don't know if the regular standard traveler's notebook now looks like this or if it's still a different leather to begin with. So yeah, and this one hasn't been really out and about yet. It hasn't been you, it doesn't really show signs of usage. Yes, of course, because it's such a soft leather, you can see some, and it actually attracts cat hair. Um, I'm not really sure if I like these, this one here. I love this one, but it's also super bouncy, but I think if it gets thicker, that's what I want to do at the end of this video right now. I want to switch this and this around. Uh, maybe it will, um, 
not slide around like this as much. I am currently housing my adventure journal. And also, by the way, if you were looking for journal covers like this, I have a set of four in my coffee shop if you were interested in that. What I'm putting in here is stories that I want to document more that do not fit into here. Um, I'm, I am not putting any rules on myself. I still haven't decorated the front here. I'm not putting any rules on myself. I have photos. Maybe I will have entries with no photos. Not sure about that yet. I want to play, give myself the freedom to create various different um, spreads. I am keeping on the shorter one. I'm keeping this. I think this is Hobonichi week size. This is a folder that I might have purchased at some point from um, Happy Scrappy. And I'm keeping the next one with some ephemera that I might want to use in here. Um, I haven't printed any more photos yet. But there's definitely some more adventures. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not really having the time or taking the time to be able to do this. Um, but I'm really excited about the idea. Let's hope it's not going to stay the idea. But it's going to be even more. I also think that in order for this to be successful as a journal... I need to step away from chronological documenting. I need to just whatever I feel like documenting in the moment goes in here. It doesn't really matter if it's the right chrono chronological order. It just needs to go in when I feel like it. Yeah, so today I would like to give this some more use and move this one over to here. And this one over to here and that's super easy because I just take off this from the strings first I am also not using the bookmarks so what I have started doing is just pulling them tight inside and then putting them in here so they hang out at the bottom but then they're not in the way when I'm carrying it around and then I'm going to use this one and put it take it out as well. So these are on the side. And then I'm going to take this out. Oh, and this I was I received as a gift when I received this notebook and I decided to put it right here. The reason why I put it here is because I feel like this edge and this line right here meet there and it would be a good landing place for this um, brass tag thingy. I I felt like the curvature of this Travelers wouldn't really um, support, justify putting it over here. But you know, that is just me and my complicated thinking. You can put this anywhere for sure. And then I'm taking out these two. And I'm going to take off this, even though it's not in the camel si um, color, I will put this onto this notebook. And <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not going to feel uh, sad that it's getting scratched up. Because I so told you before that I actually really like when it's getting used. But you know, the theory and the practice sometimes don't align. So let's put this on here. Um... I have a question for you. If you are using this, how do you make sure that when you're taking this off here, it doesn't come off all the way? I know that I can see that the, the clip is, is here, but even when I'm taking this off like so, I really need to hold on to the, to the clip for it to actually stay where I put it. That kind of annoys me. I would love for things to just work instead of having to 
fumble with it all the time. So I was going to see what this would look like. I don't really care that this pen loop is brown. I also don't think that I would purchase another one, maybe a blue one, if I wanted to use this for that. But I actually am really happy with the blue one and my writing journal. And I think that's going to stay like that. Look at how this looks now. Yep. Can't wait to show you maybe in a in a year or so what it looks like when it's being used more. And then let me put this here and give this some some rest. This is definitely stiffer. Look at the pull up here than this one. This is a lot so softer and more pliable. Just in case you were wondering. And then let me move this in here. So I only, as I said, have it exactly the amount of covers that I need for all of the books that I'm currently using. So if I want to change things up, I actually have to switch them around and still they're still being used, just maybe not as frequently as this one. So now let's see how the elastic fits on here. It's probably way too wide. Nope. I, I don't know. Sometimes I say I'm not a, a charm person at all. And then I have three of those here and I really love what it looks like. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Okay. This is my full Traveler's Notebook cover con collection. I have four Traveler's Company covers and I have one Sojourner. I'm really excited and happy that I have those in my stash. They bring me joy every time I use them. If you stumbled across this video because you were interested in Traveler's Notebooks and you see something on my channel that you like, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subscriber. I am so grateful that you watched this video and I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye.